This is just a short video to give you an idea of how to find photographs or digital photos online. I'm just using a Google search right now and I'm going to type in the word cats. And notice that I'm under the images tab. So I'm looking not under the web or groups or anything else but just images. And I'll hit search images. Here I have a number of thumbnails, photographs of cats. And what I want to do is get to the larger photograph. So if I want to see this cat and or this cat I click on it a couple times till I get the image all by itself and that way you'll get the largest of the images and that's what you want to do so make sure you get a large uh, digital photograph the largest one you can find so I'll wait for that to load a little slow all right here it comes must be on a slow server now if I wanted to take this photograph and save it to use it on the website all you would do is do a right click on the photograph and save image. I'm using Firefox, so save image as. And then what we want to save it in is that web page folder we created. So I created a website folder. And say I want to use this for my ePortfolio. So I'm going to choose ePortfolio. And then I'm going to put it in my images folder. It's very important to uh, name it something that you'll recognize later on. So rather than just cats, which is the default one here, I'm going to call it uh, cat on TV, something like that. And I try to keep uh, no spaces, no special characters. I've included capitals, that's not a big deal. And I'll just hit save. Now, this particular image, I may not be able to use it properly because, um, or use it in my web page because it might be a copyright image. So it's sometimes also important to go to other sites that uh, have copyright free images. For instance, if you go to the course schedule, Ecom 45 or 355, uh, if you look on schedule week number four, if you scroll down a bit, you should notice that I have under websites of the week a bunch of different um, image and graphic resources. I have things like free photo, pics for learning, uh, geek philosopher, gimp savvy, etc., and the Creative Commons. A couple of them look like this. Here's free photo, and you have um, other photographs that are royalty free and copyright free and you can use them for educational uses. Uh, another really good one is the Creative Commons. You can get a lot of really good uh, ready to use audio, images, video or text here. So you may want to try out some of these.